So the three main parts are all 22 inches long. There's a six inch wide, a seven inch wide, and a 10 inch wide piece. And the braces are just eight inches by six and an eighth of an inch. This jig is made for the table saw, and the cool part about it is that you can make almost all of it entirely on the table saw, excluding the dovetail dados. After you're done breaking down all the pieces, you're gonna add a rabbit to the piece that is seven inches wide and 22 inches long. The rabbit is gonna be half the thickness of the material, which is 3 eighths of an inch, and it's gonna be 3 quarters of an inch long. My plywood was 23 30 seconds. You'll just have to figure it out. It doesn't have to be exact. You just gotta have a rabbit in there for the piece to nest into to make a tight joint. The glue up is very simple. I'm using Tight Bond Speed Set here. You can use any glue you want. I just wanted to get this thing put together really quick. I also use brad nails. You don't have to do that, but I find that it makes these shop jigs go much quicker. To cut the dovetail dado in this, I'm using the bit that Microjig makes. It is set to 3 eighths of an inch high, which is half the thickness of the material. And when you're running the groove down the board, you really wanna make sure that you're feeling good about the cut and that everything's braced and you're pushing everything evenly through. Otherwise, you could have a pretty scary incident. For the dados, you're gonna to wanna to set your fence to three inches away from the center of the bit. You're gonna cut one dado, then you're gonna flip the board around and cut the other dado. Then you're gonna set your fence to four inches, flip your board over, cut one dado, and then flip your board around again and cut another dado. To attach the part of the jig that slides up and down to set your height to the stationary part of the jig that attaches to your fence, I'm using the Match Fit Dovetail Hardware Accessories. All you need to do is simply mark up the center of your dovetail dado, drill a hole where you want it to be the same distance from the top on both sides, and fit your hardware in and slide it in. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the jig is parallel to your fence, and all you'll do is set your fence to, I did seven inches, you can do six, five, whatever you wanna do, but you wanna make sure you cut a straight line that's parallel on your jig to your fence. To attach it to the fence, I simply use these micro jig match fit dovetail clamps. They're great, they attach to the back, and then you slide them down, get them over your fence, and then tighten them in place, and it holds it at 90 degrees. What's nice about the L-Fence is that you don't need to cut into the actual jig when you're running pieces through. So you wanna make sure that when you set the height of the jig, it's above the height of your blade so that you can slide your pieces through there without having your blade cut into the jig. During setup, you also wanna make sure that the edge of the jig is exactly to the outside edge of your blade. That way you're not accidentally cutting into the piece. The operation I use the elephants for the most is flush trimming, specifically templating out furniture parts, but for this I'm cleaning up splines on a mitered box. Aside from flush trimming, one of the things I really like to use this jig for is for cutting tapers on legs. It's nice because there's no pinching, the offcut just falls off to the inside of the blade. 